Before the hero was a game of chance and memory. The further their quest proceeded, the more dangers there were to face. 
Even the dead had no claim to peace anymore. While painful for a mother to see her son in sickness was still better than missing him for so long, Mary knew that she would make caring for Mark her mission. Mark had to warn them about the dangers approaching, despite how difficult it was to talk. He started naming the villages that were evacuated or worse, taken over by the corruption, but soon succumbed to fatigue and fell asleep. Mary recalled hearing of an herbalist in Caldipo Caves that would have the yarrow at hand needed to treat Mark. The Bergsons would once again need to brave the treacherous caves in search of the herbalist. Goblin bandits had been preying on Anaya Dyer's pilgrims with unprecedented cruelty, removing the evil to help those who had taken refuge in the caves. Ben had heard that the goblin sibling's lair was somewhere in the lost trenches. The Bergsons had to deal with those two as soon as they could. Finding the herbalist was the most pressing matter. The healing herb needed to be taken to Mary as soon as possible.
Who could have possessed such a powerful object? The origin of the threat of corruption was what occupied most of Grammar's time lately. When pressed, Mountain God was the only answer Grandma gave. The poor herbalist had no valuables, but the goblin's greed had now surpassed gold and jewels. Shedding tears for the dead man would serve no one now. The herbs needed to be delivered to Mary. of being called Shady, he instead adopted the title Mysterious Shopkeep. vibrated with the pilgrims' chanted prayers. Prayers offered to a deity that perhaps slumbered, unhearing, at the end of their journey. The hero did not know how many of them would survive the coming days.
Some have invested this object with great power. This mushroom was vital to any concoction with the purpose of healing. While naturally poisonous, any skilled brewmaker could extract the important properties without danger. Mark was out of the woods now, his fever gone, he was almost up and about. Welcome back, brother, said Kevin. He had avoided conflict over the years, 
living in harmony with nature. But as Uncle Ben was fond of saying, a Bergson would forget how to walk before they forget how to fight. and amusing stories, the Bergsons well knew that even in the darkest of hours, they would lighten a heavy heart. And furthermore, maybe those heroes of old could teach something of their ways to the heroes of now while they listened to the trove of Grandma Margaret's stories.